Hello everyone. Welcome to Amosaptive webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to change static group membership to dynamic of existing group in Azure Active Directory. You can change a group's membership from static to dynamic or vice versa in Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory keeps the same group name and ID in the system. So all existing references to the group are still valid. If you create a new group instead, you would need to update those references. Dynamic group membership eliminates the management overhead of adding and removing users manually. When changing an existing static group to a dynamic group, all existing members are removed from the group and then the membership rule is processed to add new members. If the group is used to control access to applications or resources, be aware that the original members might lose access until the membership rule is fully processed. We recommend that you test the new membership rule beforehand to make sure that the new membership in the group is as expected. Now let's see the steps. First, we need to access and log in to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, click on Azure Active Directory under Favorites. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Groups. Here we can see the list of all the groups available in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Check the membership type assigned for the group named Test Group 1. Test Group 1, Group Type Security and Membership Type is assigned. Click on Test Group 1. Under Manage, click on Members to see the current group members. We can see the user named Test User 1 and group named Test Group 2 are added to the group as a members. Let me click on Test User 1. Uh, check the country of the user as later on we will create dynamic membership query based on user's country. Country or region is set to India. Uh, let me close it. We have other users as well whose uh, country value is set to India. So those will be added as a member automatically after we convert this group's uh, membership type from uh, assigned to dynamic. One more thing which I forgot to mention earlier, if you have selected Azure AD roles can be assigned to the group to yes, then you are not able to change group membership type. Under Manage, click on Properties. On the properties page for your selected group, select a membership type of a dynamic user. So click on this drop down arrow and select a dynamic user. Next, we need to add dynamic query for the group membership. To do so, click on add dynamic query link. Let's define the rule syntax for this dynamic query. Under property, click on this drop down arrow and select country as an attribute. Now select the operator type to equals to and now we need to add the value for the country attribute which we want to match in this rule. In our case it is going to be India. You can also add another condition if required. After creating the rule click on save. Okay and if you want to edit this dynamic query again uh, click on it. From here, you can edit that query. Let me close it. Now we have successfully changed group membership type to dynamic user and we have also defined dynamic query. Select save on property page for the group to save your changes. Select yes on dialog box explaining the changes to the group membership to continue. After the changing the group type, the existing members may change based on the dynamic membership rule you provided. Click on yes to continue. Wait for the confirmation message. Successfully save test group 1. 
So now we can see membership type is set to dynamic user. Uh, let me close this page. Uh, here still we can see security in assign. So I'm going to refresh it. Now we can see test group one group type is security and membership type is changed to dynamic. So we can confirm that the group membership type is now changed from assigned to dynamic. Uh, let me click on the group name which is test group one because we want to see the membership processing status. You can see the status is not available yet. So we need to wait for a few seconds just like we had in the last video. So I'm going to pause the video recording and once the membership processing status and group membership last updated timestamp will appear, I'll resume the recording again. After waiting for uh, two minutes, let's again click on uh, test group one to see the membership status. And now we can see membership processing status is uh, completed. Membership last updated timestamp is here. Under direct members, we can see we have three users in this group. And at this moment, we don't have any group as a member in this group named test group one. To see those three users, click on members tab. We can see test user one, test user two and test user three are listed as a member of this group named test group one. Because all these three users have the country value set to India. That means our dynamic query is working perfectly fine. That concludes the video on how to change static group membership to dynamic of existing group in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.